Dropping into hell, Troopers! Time to drop here! Hey everybody, Halo Infinite's newest Battle Royale has released, and it's called Temperance. A forerunner wasteland with scattered banished structures throughout, this snowy themed Battle Royale looks beautiful, and it plays even better. My Discord and I did a play session of this map yesterday, I was really surprised at just how well it was put together. Genuinely, it felt like 343 has made a Battle Royale in Forge, and it's something I'd love to see in matchmaking. Featuring a ring that closes every 60 seconds as the game progresses, the ring itself looks aesthetically better than past versions of the mode I've seen. I also asked the Forgers and they said the ring is completely randomized, which means every single game will finish in a different location. It's one of my pet peeves about really massive maps. A lot of the maps have places that just never get used. So I was really happy to hear the ring is actually randomized. With weapons scattered throughout and supporting up to 24 players, I honestly had a ton of fun playing this. By far, the coolest thing about this custom game is that we finally have functioning ODST drop pods. The new networking model I noticed actually helped with the smoothness of the drop pods, as now moving objects don't desync the character anywhere near as much as they used to. Upon loading into the battle royale, you'll pick a drop pod, which will then launch you down into the playable area. There's over 103 different locations for you to land on, and there's so many different points of interest, you can really play the game differently every single time, and there's something different to do. As you can see, there is a massive forerunner structure in the middle with banished bases surrounding it. If Halo Infinite actually had snowy campaign missions, this feels like it's straight out of it. There is also different weapons scattered all throughout the map. They also change from game to game, so every time you load it up, it's always different, and that keeps it fresh. Now, Temperance actually incorporates AI into the maps as well. With 343 releasing AI in Forge, you'll notice the banished already occupy the area, and the grunts, the elites, even the hunters are protecting certain weapons. You you can either kill them or just run in, grab the guns and run away. It's also pretty cool that with the addition of skulls in Forge now, the final two players, if there's any AI remaining on the map, the mythic skull turns on and all AI on the map get double health. Now as the ring closes and the map gets smaller and smaller, if you're outside the zone, you'll take damage over time, similar to all battle royales. It has a countdown timer on screen so you know when it's going to close. Just the way the ring looks, I really like the aesthetic of it. It crackles with electricity, it's not just that red circle from the default last Spartan standing game mode, it looks great. I also really love the verticality on this map. There is a lot of different ways to traverse the map. You can use vehicles, you can use man cannons, you can use equipment. There really is a lot of different ways to play. I've always felt as though the game mode last Spartan standing was underutilized by 343 as they never customized it. When they first released it, it was the most popular playlist and then they never updated it. So people got bored, they left it. They didn't even add a team-based mode and then it eventually was removed from the game. 343 did say that they were going to update date last Spartan standing and then have it feature as a rotational playlist. This never ended up happening, probably because of the layoffs. So I felt like that was a shame. Now in terms of lives, if you end up dying, you get a second life, giving you the opportunity to go back and hunt down the player who just killed you or giving you the chance to drop onto a weapon to help you win the game. With all battle royales, there's always a lot of downtime if you die early. So having that second life really helps with that. They've also made a fully fledged 1v1 arena, a gulag if you play Call of Duty battle royales. Both players get a sidekick with a ravager spawning in the middle of the arena. It also has a viewing platform so if you're waiting for your turn you can see the people fighting at the moment. Now one thing I particularly love and it takes me back to Halo's social features which you guys know I'm a massive fan of and that's whenever I'm running these custom games and it's the last two players in the lobby everyone in discord is reacting and chatting as they 1v1. Something about it feels so Halo to me. Here's a good example. This is like, this is like the Predator the Mortar Blitz. <laughs> the hype becomes the hunted. <laughs> I honestly call you stuck with mixed splits. <laughs> it's random names everywhere. <laughs> True Halo fashion. It, no, it's over. Never mind, he has a grapple. Oh, 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 oh
<laughs> yeah, the gulag is definitely oh, broken. Oh, oh, you got a bullet in the head, bro. I absolutely love that, so 343, whenever you make the next Halo game, social features are key. Ultimately, the big thing I really noticed is that this custom game is seamless. When you landed into the map, it wasn't buggy at all, the ring functioned as intended, and it seems very polished. I think this could easily go into matchmaking if 343 saw it, and it could even go in with the other battle royale made by the Forge Falcons. On the whole, I'd give it an 8 or a 9 out of 10. Links to the map and the game mode are going to be in the description below. I hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I've said it before, I'm going to say it again, the Forges are absolutely carrying Halo Infinite. They've done an amazing job. Everyone landing around the same time. I don't know. That's pretty weird. I do think so. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh who, who was that? Was that Mitch? Oh, thank God. Hey, you met? No, that was me. That uh, was free rocket. Oh, wow. Someone wants it. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, gosh darn it. I knew you were there. Oh, no. Can I shoot? Off? Oh, no. Off? Oh, no. Hey, 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 hey. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I love Leave me alone. Friendly. Hey, 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 look, look, look. Uh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nope. <laughs> this is all blown. Get away from me. Uh oh, save me. Oh, save me. Oh, save me. Oh, save me. Oh, Oh, no. No. I got so screwed by this sword. <laughs> oh, fuck. No fucking way, dude. Good luck. Good luck. But swords and hammers went straight up to the Now, I don't care. Oh, who's Cappy? He still live. Oh, oh you're no. here! Oh, let's go! Oh my god, let's go! Let's go! It's for the way! Let me out with it! He's over there! I'm over here! Watch as it turns around and freaks out. No pressure. Oh, that's right! Oh my god! Yeah, I saw that. That was funny. Uh, that doesn't count. That doesn't count now. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Let's watch that. If I did see, I didn't believe it. I want to know when you were moving, looks like you just lagged out of the game.